Welcome to Digital Billy. I purchased this Epson Perfection V39 flatbed color photo scanner in April 2022 on bestbuy.com for only $99.99. Let's look at the box details and the documentation to understand this product and software better and hopefully we both can learn something helpful along the way. Epson Exceed Your Vision Epson Perfection V39 Color Scanner Photos Documents Preserve and Share Priceless Memories 4800 DPI Amazing Clarity and Detail 4800 by 4800 DPI Easy to use buttons Scan to email, copy and more Easily scan oversized photos, documents and artwork Space saving Vertical scanning with built-in kickstand Easy photo fix for one touch photo restoration. Removable lid. Scan books, photos, albums, and more. USB powered, no AC adapter required. Compatible operating systems. Windows 10, 32 bit, 64 bit. Windows 8, 8.1, 32 bit, 64 bit. Windows 7, 32 bit, 64 bit. OS 10, 10.11 or higher. Internet access is required. Connectivity, high speed USB. And here is the one sheet, start here. Important, before using this product, make sure you read these instructions and the safety instructions in the online user's guide. One, unpack. Remove all packing materials. You can open the stand on the rear of the scanner to minimize the amount of space. See your online user's guide for details. Two, install software. Do not connect the US cable yet. Note, an internet connection is required to obtain the product software. Visit Epson's support site listed below for your model. 2. Click download for the drivers and utilities combo package. 3. Double click the file you downloaded to install the software. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the connection. 3. Connect the scanner. When the scanner is connected to the computer, it will automatically turn on. To turn the scanner off, disconnect the USB cable. 4. Scan a photo or document. There are steps 1, 2, 3. And 4 of 4. Click Scan. Wait for your scan to finish. Then view your scanned image in Pictures or My Pictures. Using the control panel, PDF icon opens the Scan to PDF window. You can scan multiple originals to one or more PDF files. The second icon starts Easy Photo Scan, a utility for editing scanned photos and uploading them to various cloud services or other destinations. The third icon starts Copy Utility. You can scan a photo and send it directly to a printer connected to your computer. Starts Epson Scan, a powerful scanning utility that allows customized scanning settings. If Epson Scan is already running when the button is pressed, the scan starts immediately. Note. Using the Event Manager utility, you can change the function of each button to perform a custom task. See your online user's guide for more information. Help. Scanner. Software help. Click the help or the question mark button on your scanner software screen. User's guide. There's information there. Additional software. And there's information there. And then there's Epson technical support. And another helpful item I found on the Epson website was this PDF. The easy to use scanner to restore, archive, and share photos and more. High quality scanning for photos and documents. 4800 DPI optical resolution for amazing clarity and detail. The tiny little superscript 1, so we go to the second page. 1. Optical resolution is the maximum scan resolution of the image sensor using the definition of ISO 14473. Preserve priceless memories, restore, archive, and share family photos for generations to come. Scan to Facebook, Google Drive, and other cloud services, Epson Document Capture Pro, and Easy Photo Scan software included. Convenient, easy to use buttons for simple scan jobs, plus a space saving built in kickstand for vertical placement. Scan oversized prints, documents, and artwork. Arc Soft Scan and Stitch Deluxe 2 included. Restore color to faded photos. With one click, Easy Photo Fix technology makes it simple. Scan books and photo albums. High rise removable lid. Remove dust from scanned photos. Advanced digital dust correction. Convert scanned documents into editable text. Optical character recognition OCR software included. USB powered, no AC adapter required.
Epson Scanners number one best selling at retail excludes specialty receipt scanners. Specifications the type is flatbed color image scanner. It's an optical scanner, CIS contact image sensor, optical resolution 4800 dpi, hardware resolution 4800 by 4800 dpi, effective pixels 40,800 by 56,160 pixels, color bit depth. 48 bits per pixel internal, 24 bits per pixel external, grayscale bit depth, 16 bits per pixel internal, 8 bits per pixel external, maximum scan area, flatbed 8.5 by 11.7 inches, light source, 3 color RGB LEDs, scanning speed, color 300 dpi approximately 10 seconds via USB 2.0, color 600 dpi approximately 30 seconds via USB 2.0. Features four buttons, image restoration, upright scanning, and scanner lid. Software included Epson Scan with Easy Photo Fix technology, Epson Event Manager, Epson Copy Utility, Epson Easy Photo Scan, Epson Document Capture Pro, ArcSoft Scan and Stitch Deluxe, and that is on Windows only. System requirements we went through already, and there's other general information there. Echo features, and what's in the box. We've gone through that already. As the Epson instructions state, if I unplug the USB cord to turn off the power and then plug it back in uh, while the iMac is still on, um, the iMac will not recognize the scanner and I have to restart the iMac. And this has happened several times. Here are the files that were put on my computer when I installed the application and um, that are now on my computer iMacs um, applications folder. There's Copy Utility, Document Capture, Easy Photo Scan, Epson Scan 2, Epson Scan 2 Utility, Epson Scan Smart, Epson Software Updater, Event Manager, a guide, which takes you to the online guide, the uninstaller, and using Epson Scan 2. So I went through each file to see what they did. On my iMac, which is new, clicking open Copy Utility just opens the Epson Scan 2 software. And the same for Easy Photo Scan. That simply just opens the Epson Scan 2 software interface. So those two, um, from what I can tell, are unnecessary on my iMac. Here is the document capture interface. And this is to connect you, after you scan, connect you to the printer, email, your hard drives folder, uh, server space, a web FTP, um, and I think this icon is for Twitter and in the Google Drive. And this is if you just want to go straight to scanning and then um, some minor manipulations and, and, and also scan to PDF and then just sending it away to other sources. I'm not sure why this is particularly necessary when you're on a computer and you can do all of these and just use the main scanner interface and then take that file and then um, send it wherever you like separately. Here is the Epson Scan 2 interface and this is the heart of the scanning interface for the iMac and everything is here. Um, so um, from all my prior experiences with scanners I just open this scanner interface, adjust everything with all these settings, there's plenty of settings, crop it, scan it, it goes on to the computer and then um, you take it from there. Here is the Epson ScanSmart interface. And again, um, this is like bare bones, um, ease of use with simplicity and some minor manipulations to the image, red eye and whatnot, um, basic stuff. And um, I guess you would use this if you don't understand how to use the main Epson Scan 2 software. The Epson documentation refers to this Epson Scan interface. And this is a PC interface and they don't include the iMac interface, so you feel like you're kind of in a PC world with the Epson software. Here's the online guide you find from the um, guide folder on the computer, and it starts with the uh, scanner basics, placing originals on the scanner, scanning, starting a scan, selecting Epson scan settings, the scan modes, again, not on the iMac interface, um, the full auto mode home and office, you just scan how you want on the iMac. Those are not on the PC. On, on, those are on the PC, not on the iMac. Image preview guidelines, scan resolution guidelines. That's a good rule of thumb. 
people typically don't understand what resolution, so read through that. Selecting scan file settings, scanning special projects, scanning to online destinations. If you want to use their software, they can send them off to these online destinations that I already spoke of. Restoring photo colors as you scan. Scanning to a SharePoint server or cloud server. Scanning multiple page originals as separate files, that's for Windows. Stitching to images in Epson, ScanSmart. Cleaning and transporting your scanner, solving problems, technical specifications, and notices. So aside from their main Epson scan software, which I've used plenty of in the past, that's very capable. These other um, applications and files and recommendations they have in documentation, at least in my iMac experience and in my iMac environment, just don't seem uh, relevant, really, or current. It seems like these are like old legacy environments on a PC or something from the past. It just doesn't seem like a current iMac configuration. And um, so all I need is the Epson scan software and I'm good to go. But again, for me, what I have to remember is I have Adobe Photoshop Elements and I've used regular full-fledged Photoshop a lot in the past, but my current environment includes Adobe Photoshop Elements and within there I can do color correcting and stitching and editing and red eye removal and cropping. So I have that benefit. So if you're somebody without a photo editing software package, then some of these tools of course would be essential for you. There are a lot of resources on the Epson website. Go to support.epson.com in the search field type in V39 and you'll find all of this information about this scanner. You'll find downloads, or either it's the drivers and the utilities. You'll find the facts, or FAQS, which is frequently asked questions. And there's a whole list there and a whole bunch of information that you can click on there and read. There is this manuals and warranty section, and as you can see here, there's plenty of information of, a, of one, two, three, four, five, six PDFs. Here's a very thorough video section. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos. And then you have your registration and service plans section. And be sure and register your product for a one year warranty coverage. You have the contact us section, warranty verification, service center locator, email, sub Epson support, and contact phone number and hours. Here is this slick, thin Epson scanner with the lid open, the front with the four control buttons, with the kickstand engaged, taking up less space on the desk, and the kickstand in the closed position and in the open position. And all of this for only $99, the current price on uh, bestbuy.com. And check out Adobe Photoshop Elements on adobe.com. The current one-time purchase is only $99.99. This is not a subscription. This is a one-time purchase. And it took me a while to find this out. I had no idea. I was a typical Adobe subscriber for a long time. And then I came across this, so uh, I hope you find this useful too. I have learned a lot making this video, and I hope you have learned a lot as well. Please hit like and subscribe, that helps a lot, and thank you for watching.